Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video we are continuing onward with our 1966 steel sunroof headliner installation. Before we get started, please be sure to like, subscribe, PayPal donation for the price of a cup of coffee. We keep this content going for you guys and anything you guys can donate would be much appreciated. Thank you very much. But um, here is the steel rail that we uh, had out. And like in the previous video I showed, we spoke about how we just polished it up and uh, cleaned it up to make it look good. We didn't paint it, but get these butt ends. You gotta make sure these butt ends go into the, the end of the rails and it goes into a hole in the back of the roof. So when I zoom out here, you'll see where that, that uh, end goes in. That keeps the rail stable from moving side to side really. And it also lines you up correctly with the screw holes later on that I'll show you. But before we put all the rail and the mechanism in and the, the cables into the, the car, you want to lay it out on a nice table and inspect everything. These are the original cables, which we later on down the line we actually do replace because they break. Uh, but just for the sake of this right now, we uh, just lay all this down on the table. You get those tubes there, those steel tubes that channel the, uh, the cables. And uh, these cables, then the ends will fit into these, the rails that where I spoke about before that we just polished up again. Because I polished them because when these sliders go back and forth, they're going to wind up scraping the paint if you did paint them. But this is how they insert into the track or into the rail. And then there's your slider, and that's how it slides up on the rail. So just the way that my dad inserted that, that's exactly the way it happens. And then the this the uh, that steel channel that strong channel there that that channels the cable hooks into the back end or the front end of that uh, track the rails so you just kind of set that up and then we just kind of mocked with the front gear this is where the that's that uh, steel piece goes into I don't know if it's aluminum or steel, um, into right the, the ends of that uh, front gear plate. You got to make sure that hooks in a certain amount. You'll see there's like an indent in the plastic where that, that piece goes in. So then you put the gear in, the cables go around the gear, and then you get a steel top plate that goes on top of that. And then there's, of course, a plastic plate. But this is a, like a mock setup. So then you can put it into the car like we did here. Remember, insert those rails and that plastic piece goes into the hole into the back of the roof. And this is basically a rough mock-up here of how it will be inserted. We bought brand new screw, brand new hardware uh, from uh, Wolfsburg West uh, that we got to, to screw down everything. Uh, if you want to use your old screws, that's fine too, or just go to the hardware store. But the shorter screws hold the rails down on each side. So you got four there on each side. They're the real small ones. I think they're like sixes, uh, but maybe 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 half an inch or so, maybe even a little smaller. So there's where the the channel inserts into the rail, and that hooks into the front. That all get covered by the plastic pieces. And then these longer screws, these longer coarse threaded uh, tapered head screws. They will hold down the plastic pieces that cover that tube, the J tubes. They're on either side of the gear section. Do not torque them down too much because they will strip. Here's the center gear that the handle goes on and uh, swings around and around. So this gear is going to be held up into the headliner here. Make sure you make a small incision first and you'll feel around where that hole needs to be for that gear. It's like egg shaped. Now here's the top plastic that holds the gear in place on the opposite side. We do get new plastic stuff later on but you want to use the longer machine screws with the tapered head and that will go into the plastic. Now our newer plastic needs 
threads tapped into it. So, but that's the way that goes in. And those screws go in this spot right here. So we were able to get the gear up in there and it pretty much stayed there because the padding all around the headliner and stuff kind of held it into place. Um, but you'll see I had to push it up through the roof so the gear is above so those cables can hook into the gear. And you're going to want to get your screws. So I'll take the gear out and I had to tap the holes here where the gear fastens into. The Wolfsburg West pieces do not have threads. The new uh, plastic pieces. CIP1.com or Wolfsburg West will have these pieces. So uh, I do believe they were five millimeter. So I got my five millimeter tap and I did tap threads for the screws, those machine screws. And there you go. Get that gear up into place. That's fastened down, and there you see the cables in their right position. Now the other screws with the machine has this two other screws, a little bit shorter than the gear screws that go on either side when you fasten the top plastic piece down. But that's later. Then these other three core screws fasten that down here. So the two in the front of the machine screws and the three in the back or in the front of that plastic piece are the, uh, the core screws. So that's basically the mock setup right now, how that should be working. Now we did try to move the handle and we did get some binding. We did try to see how this was functioning. And these, again, these are the older cables, just to give us an idea of how it's working right off the bat. And right off the bat, it wasn't working the greatest. So you have to start working with the cable through the channel and making sure things are working all right. Now, in this next section, it's kind of funny. This, these are the, uh, the front risers here, like these, these uh, circular nut, and it's like a slider. Two different kinds, uh, early and later on. We have this style that looks like right here, and that adjusts the height of the center steel roof. Now we had these sliders here, but we did not have the, the, the nut, the circular nut to adjust the height. Uh, I don't know why, um, I'm, you know, I was kind of new to this here. Um, if anybody could shed some light, that'd be great. But I do know that there's two different styles. So we improvised and grabbed washers. This is like a washer, I think, off of a shock. Um, and we used these and we stacked some washers to give the height uh, for this center piece. And I'll show that to you in a, in a, in a few minutes. Um, so we kind of, we got a couple more washers. You can go to the hardware store and we kind of stack them up like this. And I'll, I'll explain what this does. So you grab your slider. This is the front part of the steel roof. And this goes on the, the rails, this slider here. So we put the washer underneath and that's the height of that slider piece right there. And that slides on the rails right there on each side. So we had to put a few washers in to get the right height. Now we used the two slots from the get-go that came on that piece, that steel piece, but you'll see later on we had to improvise. Uh, also, uh, just to note, um, we used some silicone grease, clear stuff. We don't use the, you know, green or blue grease on these uh, gears and on the cables. So my dad just used some silicone grease and we dabbed it on the cables. This seemed to work pretty well. If you guys have another solution or another uh, method of greasing these cables, please let us know. But they seemed to work well. Kept things clean. Um, wasn't getting things dirty. And while my dad was doing that, I was then uh, grabbing the steel, the center piece of the, the headliner piece that gets wrapped around this steel piece in the middle. I primed this. I cleaned it up and primed it. That'll get the headliner wrapped around it. So getting back to these sliders, of course, those two other holes did not work. So we had to improvise and make our own hole in the center here. This seemed to line up well. The two other holes on either side, the elongated holes, were either too far or too short. Um, 
or too close rather to the rail. It just wasn't uh, working right. So we made a center hole, we lined it up, stack up these washers, and then this will give us the right height for the roof. Then we got a, a six millimeter bolt with a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter head. And um, you've got the right size bolt to work with the washers here. Depending on how many washers you use, you know, it depends on the length of the bolt. So what that piece does is it makes it even with the roof. You see right now the center square piece is, is down. Uh, it's not even with the, the roof of the, the bug. So that slider, you could do this by uh, just sliding it in right, just like that and, and put it right on the rail there. And then you get your washers and get your bolt and then hook it up to the roof. There's threads in the roof. And then that will adjust, that'll give you that flush look to the main roof. That's what that piece does. So I don't know why I didn't have the, the, the nut to give it an adjustment, so we just improvised there. Now on the, on the uh, cables themselves, you have those other sliders that ha have to hook into uh, the center square roof. And you see there's like a pin that's on those sliders. See that pin here that, that pivots? That actually brings the roof up. And in order for it to do that, it needs to go into a mount that's on the center square piece. There's the mount right there. You see that cylindrical looking hole there. That's where that pin goes into. You'll see just like that. There's a spring on there. You could pull it out and pull it and push it in and out. And that's how that slider works. And that's what brings the roof up and down. Now here, we're trying to adjust our positioning of those sliders. So you have to take the cables out of the gear in order to position those sliders back and forth. So you have to get that lined up right so they, their end point is even with the roof. So when the roof goes up, it's even with the opening. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Um.